Greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome to the Crypto Truth, where I give you the truth as I see it. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm clearly away from my home, but I knew that I would be gone all day, so I kind of wanted to go over the news while I was away, so I have to do this in the car. Let's go ahead and get started with the Crypto Quickie. So apparently Rich Dad Poor Dad is embracing uh, the fact that Elon Musk is supporting Bitcoin. Rich Dad Poor Dad, um, if you guys don't know, uh, the guy that um, wrote obviously the books, the Rich Dad Poor Dad series. Uh, if you look on YouTube, you can see a lot of his thoughts and opinions on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Very, very interesting. People, you know, I don't understand why a lot of people aren't in the crypto space right now. Um, I believe that there's a lot of fear, but it really, you have to educate yourself. If you look at what rich people are doing, and not even just rich, famous people, but just rich, educated people, you see what they're doing, you can just follow the money. It's 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 really, honestly, that simple. Um, Kyrgyzstan, central bank could license cryptocurrency. That's not really a surprise. We start, we need, we're going to start seeing this more in the future. Wall Street Bets Reddit spinoff is launching its own cryptocurrency. So that's very interesting that they're launching their own cryptocurrency, but as the cryptocurrency space is getting larger, I mean, it's, it's to be expected. Um, and Nico Eagle CEO says that Bitcoin will never replace gold. And guess what? I agree with him. Bitcoin will not replace gold. It's going to completely destroy gold. So um, that's my own opinion. I think gold will still be around, but I think gold will just be gold. I think there we're, we're between gold and Bitcoin is two completely and totally different things. So uh, DeFi permissionless flash loan marketplace is now li live on Ethereum. So if you're familiar with that. Um, cool, cool. JCB and Keychain create blockchain-based micropayment solution. So be on the lookout for that. Libra renamed Diem is getting um, is getting back on track in 2021. I made a video about um, Libra and um, Diem. I'm also going to go ahead and I'm, I'm going to make a new video because they changed it from Libra to Diem. So I'm going to make a new video on this. So my thoughts and opinions, it'll be very, very short. Actually, I'm going to make it right after this and um, just explaining my thoughts on the whole um, the whole Facebook situation. Uh, governments are terrified of what's happening with Facebook right now, as they should. Um, Pakistan is now mining BTC using um, government funds. So uh, Pakistan has got the message. Hopefully Nigeria gets the message as well uh, that it's probably smarter to just go ahead and start adopting Bitcoin and collecting Bitcoin. Uh, DeFi aggregator one inch stages um vampire airdrop to uniswap users so i don't know anything about any of that stuff but if you guys are familiar with one inch um which is an interesting name i probably need to do some research on that myself which by the way since i said that make sure you guys do your own research three-way partnership lulu exchange federal bank and ripple net people um while this is a possible um three-way partnership you guys really have to understand. I've told you guys this before and I'm going to say it again. It's all about, it is all about, it is all about companies and um, uh, crypto projects really coming together, working as a team and forming something huge in which it cannot be stopped. Huobi DeFi Labs jointly um, approves strategic partnership with Kava. Another partnership. There we go. India to ban cryptocurrency investment completely. Look, I'm sorry. I just can't buy this. I don't think India, I don't think the people within India are that much of idiots. I, I just, I don't think they're idiots. I, 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 I'm i leave that alone. I'm going to go ahead and move on. U.S. banks are on the verge of accepting Bitcoin as legitimate asset class. They're not really going to have a choice. They're not really going to have a choice. We already got mayors, um, um, uh, New York mayor, uh, uh, well, future maybe New York Mayor Andrew Yang already talking about Bitcoin becoming a hub. We got a, a Miami mayor already um, talking about uh, um, uh, playing their employees in Bitcoin. So, look, it's happening, people. It's happening. Uh, Colombia's money superintendent approves nine crypto platforms to figure with National Bank. So if you guys are in Colombia, 
you might want to pay attention to those nine crypto platforms and if, you, if you're not in Colombia, if you have any participation with these um, platforms then it's probably in your best interest to go ahead and look that up all right let's go ahead and get into the market so in the market right now we're looking at big uh, market cap total market cap of 1 trillion 400 billion at the time of this video Bitcoin dominance is at 59.8 percent which is great for altcoins yay yay um, Bitcoin is around 46,900. It probably went up to 47,000 by now. Dash is up 57%, up 114%. Ethereum Classic is up 32%, up 76%. Uh, Zilliqa is up 31%, up 87% for the week. Horizon is up 20%, up 55%. And then finally, Lisk. And I haven't heard Lisk in a while. Lisk is up 27%, up 88% for the week. So, um, thank you guys for uh, paying, uh, listening, and um, you guys take it easy. As I always say, do your own research, do your own research, and do your own research. And the other thing I always say is stay safe out there. Take it easy, guys.